World War II culled many caravan manufacturers from the scene, established businesses and enterprising individuals alike. The refocus of men and material was paramount as the nation rallied to the war effort. When peace prevailed, many pre-war manufacturers did not return to the industry. In those post-war years of petrol rationing and nation rebuilding, caravan holidays were far from the public psyche. However, PMG technician Tom Holland was one man who did foresee a great boom in caravanning and camping. In 1946, Tom and his wife Daphne converted their block of land at Hackney, where they had previously grown tomatoes, to the Adelaide Caravan Park, which became a great success. In 1956, National Pleasure Resorts reported that the camping area at Brown Hill Creek and Kingston Park again proved very popular. During the peak period last summer, there were times when visitors from every state in the Commonwealth were camped at Brown Hill Creek at the one time. The surging popularity of caravanning and camping coincided with the affordability of owning a motor car, and particularly the FJ Holden model of 1953, which became known as the People's Car. A growing number of local caravan manufacturers began to join the ranks of pathfinders such as Furnace, Roadmaster, Paramount and Road Cruiser. Broadway, Globetrotter, Hardy, Rovan, King, Harris and Clipper were among the new wave of models rolling onto the streets out of Adelaide. They were safe, solid, practical, affordable and innovative for their time. Initially, bond wood with masonite lining and timber frames on steel chassis. Likened to English models, the caravans coming out of Adelaide often featured stylish curves to the roofline and exposed timber ribbing in the ceilings. Furness especially was distinctive with sliding doors and windows. Adelaide was at the forefront of caravan manufacturing in Australia as the era of aluminium cladding arrived. The traditional enjoyment of camping also surged as families became more mobile. National Pleasure Resorts established through legislation in the South Australian Parliament had a primary role of identifying suitable land that could be used for pleasure and recreation. The 1960 National Pleasure Resorts Annual Report listed 34 sites in South Australia. In that year, falling returns from bookings at Brownhill Creek, Kingston Park and Fort Glanville were accounted to patronage given to a new park at West Beach. A strong industry base supported the camping sector, led by manufacturers and suppliers including Ken Major, CJ Martin, Murdoch's, Warland and Boots. Hungarian immigrant Sandor Nagy developed a reputation for the quality of his leather and canvas work after arriving in Adelaide with his family in 1958 to escape communist oppression in his homeland. Apart from supplying the caravan and camping industry, his company, Universal Leather and Canvas Products, later secured major defence contracts to produce tents, marquees, backpacks and webbing for our soldiers in Vietnam.